This is Grandmaster Boris Alterman and you're watching Gambit Guy. Hello and welcome everybody. So today we start working on the new Gambits, Gambits in the Greenfield Defense. And I would like to tell you that Greenfield is one of the most playable, most modern openings, which become very popular like 50, 60 years ago after Austrian Grandmaster Greenfield after d4, knight f6, c4, g6. Knight c3 suddenly played d7, d5. However, the biggest popularity of this defense started after a world champion Batwinik and also Smyslov included this aggressive opening line into their repertoire and following by Bobby Fischer who played the Grunfeld almost as often as a king's indian defense as black and of course in the last 20 years of the a previous century Garry Kasparov started to play Grunfeld from his world championship match against Anatoly Karpov so if we look at today's top 10 players that almost everybody once at least tried to play the Grunfeld it's definitely world champion Vichy Anand, of course Vasily Ivanchuk, Shirov, Topolov. So everybody at least once tried to play this aggressive opening line. And one of the strongest Russian grandmaster Peter Swidler has a, this Grunfeld defense in his main weapon. So the Grunfeld leads to extremely sharp position when black is trying to allow white to control the center however immediately contra taxes so the main lines uh, usually continue c takes d5 knight takes d5 e4 and here black uh, has to capture on c3 because this is the only way for creating the next pressure over the white center if black in this position is going to b6 with his knight white is just simply keeping the strong center without much compensation and since as we know according to the position rules when you have less space you have to trade the pieces and not to keep it on the board so white simply could continue like bishop e3 then Knight f3, bishop e2, and his position is clearly better. So, after knight takes e3, b takes c3, and bishop g7, so position is very actual even for today's theory. White has different opportunity to play here. Bishop c4 and the knight e2, which we call the Alohin attack. Knight f3, rook b1, this is a modern line. Bishop e3, queen d2, today we call the Karpov line. 